got a few people who've come down who want to say a few words. So I'm going to pass it over to Andy, who's come down today. He's from the No Cardo campaign. These guys have been doing amazing stuff organising in the community to resist a Cardo opening a depot outside Tufnell Park. Just like with the workers, Ocado are using their money and their, their power to bully this community the same way they're bullying the workers. The workers have managed to stop this school being, uh, the depot being built there, but they're taking them to the high court, so these guys are continuing to organise. So, over to Andy. <laughs> yeah, so like Alex says, uh, Ocado have been trying for two years now uh, to build one of these distribution depots just over the wall from a primary school and a nursery uh, in North London. Shame. But, I mean, shame, shame on that, trying to put vans and, you know, uh, diesel vehicles, all the noise and stuff next to a playground. Uh, it's the worst possible location. But the way that they're trying to do it is the same with uh, what they're doing here. They're trying to bully, they're trying to bulldoze, they're trying to use every... They're, trying, they're lawyering up. Uh, you know, they took us to the High Court, we won in the High Court, but they're still trying again. Um, you know, I just, I think it's important for, for everyone watching to know that all these sort of colourful vans you see on the street, behind those colourful vans is a dark operation. You know, there's a real sort of, uh, a, a dark, a corporate sort of overlord organisation that tries to bulldoze and bully everything in its path, including tiny four-year-olds and five-year-olds that are trying to put uh, pollution and uh, noise next to its depot. We've been fighting them for two years, um, you know, but I just wanted to come down and show solidarity with you because your campaign is, is so inspirational uh, and I hope that you know, we can support each other um, and try and stop Okado's bullying, uh, bullying ways. They can't get away with it. They can't get away with it. They can't get away with just lawyering up and trying to stamp, uh, stampede over everyone. And I also want to say, by the way, Marks and Spencers own half of Okado now. Marks and Spencers own half of Okado. Marks and Spencers hold themselves up to be holier than thou, and underneath, with Ocado, they're trampling on workers' rights and they're trying to build a distribution depot next to a primary. And it's shame on Marks and Spencers as well. They care more about polling tuna than they do about the rights of their workers and little children in North London. It's, it's disgraceful. We will keep fighting, we will fight forever against Ocado to stop this distribution depot. I hope you guys will keep fighting as well. Solidarity with your fight, and thank you. Thanks for asking me down today. Cheers. Thanks so much.